Chinese warplanes once again approached Taiwan airspace on Monday for a rare about of nighttime exercises. Taiwan's military officials said that fighter jets were scrambled to drive off the CCP fleet. Officials were speaking the day after at a news conference with a seating capped at 31 due to the coronavirus pandemic. There's temperature screening at the door and the windows are cracked open. Seating was limited to 31 for the first time, with chairs spaced out to reduce risk. This is the Defense Ministry's routine press conference where precautions have been taken to combat viral spread. With the pandemic worsening, even the Pentagon has ruled out procedures in response. There are now 37 known cases of COVID-19 within the U.S. Department of Defense. Washington has scrambled to respond, announcing it will keep its top official and his deputy physically separated as a precaution. Taiwan's defense ministry plans to do the same. In line with the principle of taking proactive precautions, we have adopted categories including command posts, troops, schools and institutions. In accordance to each unit's tasks and unique characteristics and in line with the guidelines on subdividing workforce flow and labor, we have established plans for moving personnel to off-site offices. And even as the world grapples with the coronavirus, China has once again sent warplanes near Taiwan. Around 7 p.m. on Monday, Chinese J-11 fighters and KJ-500 airborne early warning and control aircraft flew over the seas southwest of Taiwan for a rare nighttime mission. At one point, the planes approached Taiwan's air defense identification zone. Taiwan's defense ministry scrambled IDF and F-16 fighter jets to intercept the CCP planes. Through a joint C4ISR system, the military has a completely sufficient grasp of all movements in the area. We are able to dispatch appropriate troops to maintain an effective response in all weather conditions and at all times to ensure the safety of our airspace and territorial waters. The message announced by the U.S. yesterday is that its Theodore Roosevelt carrier strike group and an America-class amphibious assault ship happen to be near China and Scarborough Shoal by the Philippines. They are undergoing joint exercises. Under such circumstances, China has decided to carry out military exercises. It's thinking, since you're drilling, I'll drill too. The military analyst says that the nighttime mission is China's reply to Washington. Taiwan officials say China should shift its focus from saber-rattling to fighting the spread of COVID-19.